Almost every day that I went to the library in Port Townsend, the same two narcs would sit next to me. No matter what time I arrived, they almost always arrived either a few minutes before me, which I could tell by how much time they had left on their computers, or a few minutes after me. They would always make a lot of distracting noise and cause some sort of a ruckus, usually while watching insane clown posse videos on the computer right next to me. I refer to these two as the Scummy Bonnie and Clyde. So help me understand, Kim. Is that a... Kim. I thought a guy called you Kim. I'll just call you Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie and Clyde, right? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Can't figure out why you told me to turn my headphones down that day at the library. See, so your answer was interesting, because you said it was because it we'd was had problems like this before. Because it was really loud. No, 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 no. It, you, it wasn't loud at all. That's the thing. And you were about to put on your own headphones, so you weren't going to be able to hear anything. I was still able to hear it, and I don't like But you it. didn't know that, because it wasn't loud yet. It hadn't made any noise, Kim. I'm not Kim, first of all. And second of all, I'm not going to have this conversation, because this was at least a month ago. Well, I know, but I, I found it... With what I said, you should have said it earlier. I know, because I do see you guys at the library every day, don't I? No, not every day, actually. Just about. Sometimes you get a day off, huh? Yeah, here, there. There they are, following me again. Everywhere I go, these two. most part, you just follow me around there, right? Why would we be following you around? Why don't you tell me? I just did. We have no reason to follow you around. You, have you don't have any reason to tell somebody whose headphones aren't loud to turn them down right before you put your own headphones on either. If your headphones are not loud, then I would not have heard the music coming from you. The ah, there we go, Kim. We I'm not Kim. I know, but it sure bothers you, doesn't it? Bonnie? See, the thing is, I wasn't listening to music. It wasn't well, plugged I'm sorry in. sorry if I had the wrong type of sound coming out of your headphones wrong. I'm apologizing for that. There was that. nothing not coming out of my headphones. They were on my ears, but they weren't on at the time. You told me to turn them down just to start something with me. So I'm trying to understand why you would do that, Bonnie. And why you and Clyde have been following me around so much. We don't follow people around. Not, not people. Not that type of people. Really? Yes, really. How are we following you around? We found the bus first. <laughs> ah, good one. Good one. I just don't understand why you tell somebody to turn headphones down that weren't making any noise. No, I was in the past all over. It just seems weird to me, doesn't it? Wouldn't you think it was weird if you kept seeing somebody everywhere you went, and then they'd do something like that, tell you to turn down headphones that weren't even on? 
small town. People are crazy because it's a small town? No, I didn't say no, it was crazy. Well, kind of, it's kind of a crazy thing to do, isn't it? It's like this guy in the yellow has been following me around when you guys uh, aren't. All right, buddy? Wanna talk about Romney some more? I'm not following you around, buddy, okay? I'm not in the bus because the bus system screwed up and it's none of your business. I'm not interested. Let's in talk about Romney some more. I already have. I talked to my friends about it. I know. I heard right. you yesterday all the way home. Great. All you have to do is say, would you please be quiet? I'm trying to keep my sanity and then I'll shut up, okay? Would you please turn around and knock? I'm trying to keep my sanity. All right, great. I don't need to hear from no, you. No, I've got two all. knocks I'm talking about no here. I just, I was just making a comment about you, sir. Protect and serve, brother. Yeah. Hey, you guys, be quiet. See, it doesn't make sense because you guys aren't making any noise. See how weird it is? I think it's weird. Sure is, isn't it? Six years being followed around by Homeland Security. Constant harassment. But they don't like it when someone asks them questions. Do they? I don't mind questions. You don't mind questions? What made you want to go into law enforcement? I didn't go into law enforcement. You got drafted? No, neither of us are in law enforcement or trafficking. Or what? Or trafficking. I don't even know where you got trafficking? that. Trafficking? <laughs> You're just offering stuff up there, aren't you? No, you mentioned... Lady, protest it a bit much? Whatever. All right. I'm sure I'll see you all around. I'm leaving soon, though. I am going to miss you guys. Unless you're going to follow me to Portland, too. Will I see you guys there? Yeah. No. Oh, I know how it works. I will have a whole new crew following me around in Portland. Guys, be quiet now. See, it doesn't make sense. You're not talking. No noise coming from you. Officer? I'm not a, I'm not a cop. I don't believe you. I know you have a great day now, sir. Okay, it's going to be a matter of living. Uh-huh. Two hours later, at the library. <coughs> and the next day, and every day until I left Fort Townsend. What's going on, officer? Don't take my picture, man. Okay. okay. We'll turn the camera away from me. Okay. You're the officer, man. Yeah. Don't take my fucking picture. Okay.